Hi friends, welcome to Paula MJ's Place. My name is Paula. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a current subscriber, welcome back. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I surely would appreciate it. I'm trying to get my channel to grow. I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers, so I surely would appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so if you're interested in my content. Having said all that, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, it's a huge haul, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do it all in one sitting. I'll probably have to break it up or do two. Yeah. So anyway, let me just say I went to seven different Dollar Trees. I went at 8.30 this morning. I just barely got back at 12.30. So I made the rounds and I found some nice things. Okay, let's get to it, shall we? I'm going to keep an eye on the time and then when it gets a little bit long, then we'll cut it there and then I'll do another one. All right, here we go. So let's start with the repeat purchases. Oh, I gotta say, my husband loves these Feast of Bolts. <laughs> I'm stocking up. Um, the double chocolate he likes, I haven't tried. I tried the chocolate chip, which was good. Um, I think the chocolate chip and the double chocolate have almonds and the peanut butter has peanuts. That's the one I tried and the chocolate chip as well. I don't remember. I, I'm pretty sure that the chocolate chip has almonds. Anyway, they were good, the ones I tried. I haven't tried this one yet, but I did get them an, uh, another box of this. I think I might have gotten them a different, but it, it's somewhere else. It's not right here right now. All right, so we got that. Um, yeah, when I finally found these on my last haul, I gave them to my son. Now, he's not a kid, but we all like fruit snacks. I like probably fruit snacks more than him, but now I can't really chew them because my dental work. But I gave them to him, and he really enjoyed them, so I got him another box. It's the um, mac and cheese, the hot dog, and the pickle, and he enjoyed them. And it's 100 calories, uh, half a package is 100 calories. So yeah. Alrighty, I'm just looking. Oh. So the very first time I saw these, which was probably at least a month ago, I looked at them and I'm like, Dollar Tree razors, this is just my opinion. They're good, they're not good. <laughs> I've tried them and they just don't do the job for me. But, well, so that's why I passed, I passed on it. They have a gray one and a purple one. I'm like, I don't need that. And then, excuse me, I'm gonna get a drink of coffee because I haven't really, eaten or drank anything well I lied I have a cup of, I had a cup of coffee uh, before I went to the Dollar Tree half a cup I should say anyway I passed on them and then I saw other people hauling them and someone said well I got it just for this the suction thing because it does have a suction and I thought well that'd be great because my husband likes to put like his razor or whatever on, in the in the bathroom so that would be a great suction thing so that's why I got it and it's a, if you're interested in the razor, it's a three-blade three, three blade razor. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> the air quality's not that great. Um, disposable razor with su suction cup holder, and it is by Assured, which is Greenbrier. Anyway, they had this purple one with the purple packaging, and then they had a gray one with the gray packaging. I think I looked, and they both are three-blade razors, so it doesn't really matter. And and the um, the holder is clear, so... I got that. I was looking for that last haul. I'm like, I put that in my shopping cart. Where is it? I looked everywhere. I I took everything out of my trunk. I don't know what happened to it. I didn't even have my receipts. I don't know if I paid for it or not. Um, I don't know if I ever showed you this. I probably did the first time I hauled it. I've hauled this at least five times. These reef fried beans are so good for taco night. We had tacos. We had rice last night. Um... What else do we have? Uh, I forgot. Oh, the refried beans. <laughs> this is this is my second one. I went to Dollar Tree um, the other day, and then every time I go, well, if I remember, I pick up a pack. But by the time I do my haul, we've already eaten it, and I'm not going to wait. But today I got another one. So yeah, this is Best by 19th of September 2025, and it's just they're just so good. I'm not a fan of beans. I guess it's because we ate a lot of them when I was when I was younger. Just microwavable, ready in 60 seconds, and they're actually really good, and you can put them in the microwave. I did that the first time. After that, I just put them in a little uh, saucepan and warm them up on low, and they come out just great, really good. So, uh-oh, 
there goes my nose again, itchy. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm not using my ring light. It does nothing for my videos, so bear with me on the, while I try to figure out the lighting. Okay, and then I went to a, like I said, this is from seven different Dollar Trees. I went to one, the first one I went to, I hadn't seen these before. I mean, I've seen these at the Dollar Tree, like, sporadically, not all at once. And you'll see them, I filmed for a walkthrough, you'll see them in a walkthrough as well. They had all kinds of cookie mixes. They had gingerbread, which we've seen before. Excuse me, I don't know if we liked those. I think we might have. I think my son liked them. Anyway, so I bought the, they had regular chocolate chip, which is a small bag, and then they had this huge one, 17.5 ounce Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix. I'm like, I put it back and I got it, and I put it back, you know how it is. I finally just got it, because I sometimes on Saturday nights, I like to um, bake cookies. Not, I don't really eat them, but just a small enough batch so that, you know, whoever, it'll last for maybe a day or two so they don't go bad. So, but these here, this is a big batch. Well, it says it makes, what did I, where did I read that? I think it said it made 12 large ones or 24 small ones. Let me just see. Uh, yeah, makes 12 to 24 regular and 12 large ones. And so the other ones usually make like, I don't know if it says 12, but those are the teeny weeny cookies that, I don't know, you'll have to eat five of them before you, you know, you get full. <laughs> Anyhow, you need a half a stick of butter or margarine and one egg for this. And I thought, yum, okay. Now, there is a Best Buy date on here, but I'll be darned if I could see it. Let me grab my glasses. Are they here? Yeah, I think my glasses are here. See, there goes that lighting again. I don't... I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to go with it, right? There's nothing I can do. I tried to, you know, finagle all the settings on my phone. Uh, okay, let's see. It says, uh, it looks like 18th of October, 2024. It's on there, but it's like imprinted really strangely, so it's hard to see. I have to get it at just the right lighting. Anyhow, I thought that was a good deal because I also got, I love peanut butter. I didn't used to like it that much as a kid, but now I do. Peanut butter cookie mix. This one is also Betty Crocker. Makes 12 two-inch cookies, so you'll get a good do a half a dozen maybe. Um... Two tablespoons of vegetable oil and one tablespoon of water. That's why I liked it. No butter in that one. And uh, six servings per pouch. All that good stuff. I'm trying to see the best buy on here. This one says August 30. Looks like 31st of August 2024. So I'll we'll have to eat this one first. And then I also got the sugar cookie. Now they had Betty Crocker sugar cookies. And they had uh, Pillsbury traditional this one said traditional, so I got the Pillsbury. It says new, but I'm sure it's maybe new when it came out, but I don't think it's new to us. Uh, August 22, 2025. Oh, yay. This is a good date. This one was 24. Let me just make sure. Yeah, this one was 24, and this one was 25. This is 25. Wow, more than a year. You like sugar cookies, stock up on these. So this will actually make six cookies as well. Six servings. Um, let me just see what it says. Yeah, about six servings per container. Makes about two, two and a half inch cook, two, two inch cookies, what? Oh, the three tablespoons, that's what they're talking about. The, um. Here <laughs> I go again. Don't confuse me, y'all. It doesn't take much. Okay. Yeah, so it's okay because you don't need a lot. And I love sugar cookies myself too. I used to make them from scratch, but I haven't done that in quite a while. All right, let's see. Oh, I finally, finally found the shaving cream, the Lux uh, Spa Luxury Super Smooth Shave Cream. So I found one, I found this one in one Dollar Tree and I was happy to get it, but this one wasn't there. 
And then I went to a few other ones, and then I found this one and the next one, and then the other Dollar Trees all had them. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. It takes forever for us to get everything that everybody's hauling. I mean, forever. <laughs> okay, so let's, I think I smelled this one already. Let me just say it's seven ounces, and it, this one is the Vanilla Lavender Scent. Advanced Moisturizing Formula with Shea Butter and Aloe. And pump two to three times and spread a thin layer on skin. Shave and rinse. Okay, so I don't know. This smells pretty good. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. It seems like it would be nice. I get that. That what is that? I don't even know. The one that has the legs on the front. Is it Gillette? I don't know, but that's like a foam thing. I'm too lazy to use it. A lot of times, I just use whatever whatever body wash I'm using. Just rub it on my legs and shave. I don't know if anybody else does that, but, and then let me just say, my legs get shaved mostly in the summer. It's a little TMI, but in the winter I wear pants, and uh, I don't think anybody cares for a shaved leg. I mean, I'm not gonna, nobody's gonna see my legs. Oh, this one is the coconut cream. I don't know if it smells like coconut. It smells okay. They both smell all right. But anyway, I'll test them out for you. And if I remember, I'll let I'll let you know how I did with them. I just got to... <laughs> I don't know. I don't have anything to put. Oh, okay. I have some newspaper here. So, yeah. All righty. Yeah. It smells okay. I don't think there's much of a coconut smell there. Some kind of smells like something else I've smelled before, but not in the coconut range. Okay, so I bought this. I don't know. I have balloons upstairs, and when I did that balloon, that light up balloon thing, I had trouble tying the balloon. So this is a balloon tie tool. You get two of them. Ask me how to use it. I have no clue. <laughs> I'll ask my husband because I don't know. Uh, it does show there, but I mean, really, I can't tell. I can understand that. And I'm a visual learner, I guess. Well, I can learn either way, but I can't even see that. <laughs> anyway, I think this will come in handy if I decide to blow up some balloons. Oh, and they had the balloon. They had the balloon... Uh, they had a balloon arch. You'll see it in the walkthrough. The balloon chandelier. I took a video of it, and I'm like, somebody stole the... It, was cl it looked clear to me. I'm like, somebody stole the contents of this. No, it's like a thin film of something. I was like, $1.25 for this? Really? <laughs> so you'll see that in the walkthrough. Um, I found this... <laughs> I don't remember whose channel I saw this on, but it was... It's Tingly Ted's Tingly Sauce. Mixed by Ed and Ted. Evidently, it's hot sauce, and I think it's by Ed, Ed Sheeran. Sheeran. I read it somewhere. Where my glasses go? Oh my word. Okay, the craziness begins. I <laughs> lost my glasses. Okay, I know. I think it's Ed Sheeran, or I read it somewhere here. Things with Ted's. Yeah is a trademark of Ed Sheeran Limited, London, UK, used under license, distributed by Heinz Food Company, Chicago, Illinois. So evidently it's not that hot because it's only got one pepper. And uh, it says, who's Ted? He's Ed Sheeran's sidekick, a teddy with a taste for hot, what? A teddy with a taste for hot sauce and a craving for adventure. Together they've made a mix for all its, for all its loud, the chili sings, and it brings a tingle to everything from brekkie to late-night nuggets. 
What in the world is brekkie? B r e k k i e. Must be a, a English thing. <laughs> I don't know. Comment if you know. I have to Google that. Okay, zero calories per one tablespoon. So yeah, Tingly Ted's hot sauce. Tingly Ted's not too hot sauce, evidently. But I thought that was cute. I'm like, I'm gonna try it. Best Buy. Uh, what? Some. It looks like I don't know. Two nineteen twenty six. It's a bunch of numbers there. Try to get the glare. Yeah, Tingly Ted. See if it's sealed. If it's not, I'm gonna smell it. It's sealed. All I can smell is that shaving thing that was on my hand. But yeah, I'll give that a shot. I buy all these sauces. I still have that pink sauce in the fridge that I never even used that it's open. It's probably no good anymore. But yeah, it is what it is. Alrighty. And then I've been seeing everybody haul these. What do you call these? Aromatherapy energy uh, six-piece scented wax melts. I don't really do that. I don't melt wax. But uh a few hauls ago, I did buy the wax uh, melt thing so I could use that Guru Nanda essential oils. So I'm going to give it a shot, I guess. I don't even know how to do it. I guess you stick the candle underneath and the wax on top and it melts and it gives you a, somewhat of a scent. I don't even know if this gives a lot, of, throws off a lot of scent. But anyway, enough rambling. Um, I got all three of the um, scents. This one says aromatherapy for energy six pieces and it's a green one this is by Greenbrier I thought it was something else I saw them there I'm like I'm gonna get every single one of them I'm not gonna even smell them until I get home oh that smells nice oh citrusy oh that's nice let me just get one out you get six in a um in a box the presentation is really nice and there it is and it has the same design, I guess. I don't know. A leaf design? <laughs> that smells really nice. Like I said, I've never done a wax melt, so I don't know what kind of a throw that does. Probably not very much. I know candles don't do that much. But that's, that's a nice one. The energy one. Oh, yeah. See that little leaf right there? That's the same leaf that was on the wax melt. That smells really nice. Um, someone did give me a Scentsy, um, warmer one year for Christmas, the plug-in one. The thing was huge. It kept falling off my, um, <laughs> my plug, so I don't even know where it is anymore. This blue one is for balance. Look at the, I don't know what, what's up with the bottom of it. it. Look at, they're all, like, messed up, the packaging. Okay. I, I don't like this one. It reminds me of that incense. I don't like the smell of incense. Oh. That's the balance one. It doesn't really explain it. It just says balance. I'm not crazy about that one at all. If you like that incense-y kind of perfumey smell, I don't even, I can't even describe it. I just, I'm not a fan of that one at all, at all. I'll have to give this one away. <laughs> I'm trying to close the box and really come on people <laughs> can't you just give us a good cardboard box really <laughs> that's something else <laughs> so much for presentation <laughs> all right and then we got the last one which is uh what color is this orange red something this is the Lucidity, lucidite, lucidite. This one's got some stuff hanging off of it. Yeah, scratch the presentation statement I made. <laughs> okay, so this is clarity. Oh, okay, so, duh. Energy, energy, whatever that is. I think it's in French on the bottom. Balance, uh, equilibri. I neglected to read the top on this one. Just I read the the bottom. 
This is for clarity. Oh, that one smells pretty good. That's like an orange color or a peach color. Oh, yeah. Nice. Now, these are the only three scents I found. I don't know if there's more. I've seen other people hauling them, but I don't recall if they had more than three. That's quite nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, the blue one is just what I didn't care for, but that's just me. Everybody's different. That's what makes the world go round, right? <laughs> Okay, we got three of those. And then I found the nails. You'll see them in the walkthrough, the nail art or the nail gems. There were a lot of them. Do I need more nail gems? I have more nail gems than I will use in the rest of my lifetime. And I always forget to use them. But these were so cute, you all. I only got two. I think there was more than two. You'll see them in the walkthrough. I'm sorry. I always talk with my head down. I, I apologize for that. I Sometimes I watch my videos back and I'm like, what am I doing? People are watching me, not my the top of my head. But I apologize for that. Um, this is from Mila. Mila, Mila Plus Studios. Nail, gem, nail gems. 120 pieces. Wow. So I'm going to take them out of the package. To show. All right, 20 minutes. Okay, so um, I got a couple more things, and then uh, we'll cut this. Yeah, this is like it's like the same kind of packaging a hauled from Timu. You got six little compartments. Let me try to take um. This looks like the yellow is already mixed with the purple. Watch, watch me do this, and everything goes flying. Oh, thank goodness it didn't. Okay, so it looks like there's some some hard gems in here mixed with other ones. Like I just pulled out a, a pink. This is like, how am I supposed to, how's that supposed to stay on your nail? This is a hard plastic thing. I mean, it, it, that's not going to stay on your nail, is it? You know, the top coat you brush against something that's going to go flying off I, I think i don't know duh i'm not very savvy in this kind of stuff they got the little gems yeah okay so it's mostly little gems like let me just close this up and show you you see all these sparkly little gems and purple and pink and whatever and then they've thrown in like a flower here and there but it's mostly gems and then a, a couple of hard plasticky flowers here and there. That's what I see. And you can see them like sticking to the back of the... So if that's up your alley. I mean, it took a while. I've seen people hauling these for a couple of weeks at least. My store just barely got them this week. Um, yeah, so there's that one. I'm just going to put this back in, in here, this little purple one. Oh my goodness. It's going to go... I thought it was going to go flying. <laughs> okay, there's that one. And then there's this one. Um, I think it's the same kind of gem, just different colors. It does have different little thingies in there. I'm going to open this one up real quick, too. Um, yeah. I'll give it a go. I'm a kid at heart. Not that this would be, I don't know, would this be for kids? I have no idea. I just thought they were cute. Oh, it looks like there's like some lemon slices and I think this is more like fruity. <laughs> you see that? It looks like a lemon slice. And then I don't know what that is and something in there too. Oh, is, and is that a strawberry right there? Oh my. That's cute. I just don't know how to, if you guys know how to keep them on the nails, I don't know. Normally with my gems, I put the whole, uh, I put the nail polish on my nail and then um, I use a tool and then I just push the, the, the gem on there and then I put a, bit, a top coat over it, but that's just me. Anyway, I thought these were cute. I'll give those a go. And then the last thing, so this is the Dollar Tree right by my house. Like I said before, they always come through. I'm just shopping there, you know, here, just casually strolling the aisles, and I come upon the aisle with all of the glassware and the mugs, 
and I see mugs that I've never seen before that are not Greenbrier brand or Old Norfolk, whatever the, the brand is. And I'm like, I don't need another mug. What am I going to do? I'll have to go through the mugs that I love and try to pick a couple to donate so that I could replace it with these. But I thought, Father's Day's coming up. This is a nice color. So, first one, I found two. So I bought both of them. First one is, uh, they're both black. And this one says Brilliant on both sides. It's a nice size mug. And um, I don't have any idea what this um, company is from. It is called, well, I'm going to show you. And then I'll, I'll take that label off so you can see. You can see the rest of the brand name. It's made in China. So this is Market Finds, dishwasher and microwave safe. So I thought, hmm. Now I'm looking to see if there is how many ounces and it does not say. It's not a huge mug. I would say it's probably your average size mug. Not too small, not too large. Of course, I like a large mug, so this wouldn't be for me. Um, large mug <laughs> compared to this little mug. <laughs> so you see, sorry about that. I just took the opportunity to get myself a drink. Okay. Ah, uh, rambling. I apologize. So the next, the, the second one I saw, these are the only two I saw, the only two designs. It says Wander. So this one was, had like a I don't know, like a honeycomb kind of design to it. I don't know if you can see that. This one has like vertical stripes. It, it's a nice mug. It looks like it's got a quality mug. And it, it says wander on both sides. And um, this one doesn't have, I noticed this one here had some kind of a, you can really see it because it's all black. Had kind of a little thing there. And I look to make sure, that, I don't, it is what it is. It was only a buck and a quarter, as people say. <laughs> and there's the bottom. It's the same from the same place. So, yeah, I thought that was really nice. <laughs> so if you're in the market for a mug, keep your eye out, eyes out. Keep an eye out. One eye, two eye. <laughs> Whatever many eyes. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all so very, very much. Be on the lookout for a second Dollar Tree haul soon. I have the other half of this huge um, haul that I did, plus a, a walkthrough. So just be on the lookout soon. And I appreciate you all so very, very much. I hope you found something here that you've been on the hunt for, uh, or maybe you haven't been on the hunt for, and you thought, oh, okay, I need that, or I thought I needed that and it doesn't look so good. So I, that happens to me a lot. I see people hauling things that I think I really want. And then when they, you know, show it, I'm like, no, I don't think I want that after all. Enough rambling. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Remember, comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. I need to get to 4,000. Thumbs up is also appreciated. Thank you so much. Until next time, be well and be blessed.